Hey, this is Brett, and this 2013 Ford Mustang Shelby GT500 convertible is stock number 14069Z. I am here at Summit Automotive in Fond du Lac, Wisconsin, your new and used sports car headquarters. This 2013 Shelby GT500 has the 5.8 liter supercharged V8 engine. It puts out 662 horsepower. This car has been fully safety and inspected by our service shop per the state of Wisconsin inspection process. It has a fresh oil and filter change. All the fluids have been checked and topped off. And this car is 100% ready to go. I'm gonna go all the way around in this video. Inside, under the hood, start it up, put the top down, give you the most accurate representation that I can of this car possible. Black clear coat is the color with the Colorado red stripes. I'm also gonna go through the build sheet on this, show you how many of these were made um, with all the different options. It's kind of a cool thing. And if you like the video, you can subscribe to the YouTube channel, which is youtube.com slash summit auto. Click the bell notifications. You get updates on the videos I do each and every day, as well as having access to one of the largest catalogs of vehicle walkarounds on YouTube. This one comes with the SVT Performance Package, which gives you the 19-inch painted alloy wheels in the front. It also has the Brembo brakes in the front, and it comes standard with the Goodyear Eagle F1 265-40ZR19 tires. Now these tires, I would say, have probably about 80 to 90% of the tread left in the front. There's only about 5,000 miles on this car. I did want to show you the uh, build sheet here. So this is a list of all the 2013s that were made for 2013. I have the black convertibles highlighted here and this one has the Recaro seats. You can see they only made 56 of those with the red Recaro accents. Uh, it has the SVT racing stripes which they only did 222 of. The performance package, they did 250 in black for the convertibles, and they had the uh, red Colorado stripe on the side on only 83 of those black convertibles. So it's kind of a cool um, chart here. Uh, I'll link it in the description of this video as well, so you can check that out. Otherwise, you can just go on Google and type it into the search bar, 2013 GT500 production numbers. Anyways, front fender, absolutely perfect. No dents or dings on there. This one comes with the HID headlamps, the LED running lights. I'm going to turn those on at the end of the video so you can see just how bright they are. Front bumper and lower valence are in nice shape. One tiny little nick, but it's nice those plastic lower valences, you can replace those pretty easy. Um, you really want to focus on these cars with the stripes. Uh, all the stripes on this one are in really nice condition. Um, I didn't see any cuts or rock chips or anything like that. Um, stripes are in really nice shape. The hood is in really nice condition as well. Didn't see any dents or dings on there. Looks really good. Passenger side front fender is in nice shape as well. Cobra logo looks great. The uh, stripes on the side here look really good as well. Passenger side front wheel, no scuffs, no scrapes on there. That looks really good. And uh, as you go down this side of this 2013 Shelby GT500, take note of how clean that body is, how reflective and mirror-like that paint is. I take these HD videos, so if you're far away or even if you're close by and you just cannot make the trip down, but you're still interested in purchasing the car, you can see the car, hear the car, and have confidence in the vehicle that you're looking at before you even get here. So when you do get here, there's absolutely no surprises and you can make a smart and informed buying decision from wherever you're at. If this video helps you make a smart buying decision, let your salesman know that you saw the video, it was helpful and that Brett sent you. Uh, the soft top on this one is in really nice condition. I didn't see any rips or tears on that. And one more time down this side. Very, very nice. This back wheel is in nice condition as well. And the back tires 
for full disclosure, got a good amount of tread left on there, I would say probably 50, 60%. Uh, underbody, what you can see is in really nice clean condition. Hard to get under there with the gimbal. Coming around to the back, this one does have Borla exhaust. We'll start it up and take a listen to that at the end of the video here, you get the LED tail lamps. Once again, the stripes are all in really nice condition. The black, black on the uh, trunk lid here is in nice condition. Sometimes that can delaminate. Uh, this one's in really nice shape. And the top stripes are in nice condition as well. The uh, Cobra badge on the back is in nice condition. We'll take a look inside the trunk here. I'm going to leave this sheet inside the trunk, so if you do come to look at this car, it'll be in here. And uh, storage area is very nice and clean, and it does come with an inflator kit back here as well. There's your boot shocks that are doing a nice job holding that trunk lid up. That shuts nice and solidly. And going down the driver's side, Pretty nice shape, I didn't see any dents. This back wheel is in excellent shape as well, no scuffs or scrapes. Uh, just a couple little things, just a couple little touch-up spots that were done on here and right there. Just want to make you aware of them uh, because they are there. Down the rest of this side of the car, door is very nice, no dents, no dings on that. And it does come with the Power mirrors with the blind spot mirrors. Inside, you get the black Recaro leather and Alcantara suede seats with the red stripes. You get the Cobra stitched into the backrest. Really nice, good looking. And what was it, 56 of these? Only 56 had the Recaros with the red leather stripes. Back seats are in fantastic condition as well. Smells very clean inside this car. I don't think it's ever been smoked in. And uh, carpeting is nice and clean back there. You get WeatherTech floor mats in the front. The bright pedals, auto headlamps, launch control, the dampeners for the suspension, and then your steering feels. You get the SVT 20th anniversary kick plate on the 2013s. There's your VIN sticker. And your tire and loading information sticker. Uh, Recaro stitched into the side of the seats, the seats themselves, no rips, no tears, uh, very little wear. Power windows, locks, and mirrors. Hop inside, check out the miles, the radio, and everything that this one has to offer on the interior. You can see this car only has 5,225 miles on it. Instrument cluster is very nice and clean. Dim that down just a little bit. These are manual seats. You get the Alcantara suede and leather steering wheel. Bluetooth and audio controls on the right. Cruise controls and information center controls on the left. You get the Cobra logo on the center of the steering wheel. And uh, here's your CD player. You get AM, FM, and Sirius satellite radio capabilities, as well as a CD player. Um, you have your climate controls there, stability control, trunk popper, hazard lights, and your cue ball shifter, six-speed manual transmission. Sync sound system, you get the ambient lighting and the cup holders, and the passenger side floor mat and seat are in excellent condition. No rips or tears on them. All right, let's put the soft top up. Actually, map lights, uh, home link buttons for your garage door security systems and lane systems to get these soft tops up. You just gotta undo that one and this one and then hold the button. Inside of the soft top is in really nice condition as well. And then we'll start it up, listen to that Borla exhaust, take a look under the hood and it'll stop once it's done automatically. 
All right, let's start it up and go check everything out. Starts right up, no check engine lights or anything like that other than my parking brake on. These cars are a blast to drive. I own one myself, 2013 as a matter of fact. Borla exhaust sounds really good. Uh, really a nice car low miles, hard to find convertible. I would personally like to thank you for checking out the video today. And hopefully from this HD video, you've been able to verify the quality, condition, options, and cleanliness of this car all the way around, inside and out. There are those HID headlamps, LED running lights, and factory fog lights. Cobra logo looks really good as well. And under the hood, we have the 5.8 liter supercharged v8 engine 662 horsepower engine bay is very clean runs very smooth once again this car has been fully safety and inspected by our service shop has a fresh oil and filter change all the fluids have been checked and topped off and this car is 100 percent ready to go and it looks like it was made by Derek Deshens and Keith Kustak that's pretty cool as well. You have your emission sticker right there. And this car is 100% ready to go. I would highly recommend it from a quality and condition standpoint. Really a good looking car. Really low miles, really hard to find. These cars are only gonna go up in value, I feel, in the next uh, 10 years. And to see more pictures of this car, one of our other 550 new and used cars, trucks, SUVs, minivans, Wranglers, sports cars, Mustangs, Camaros, Challengers, Chargers, GT500, Z06s, you name it, we got it. Go to that website right there, summitauto.com. Full pictures and descriptions of every single vehicle, all at summitauto.com. And if you'd like to check out more HD videos, you can go to youtube.com slash summitauto. Click the bell notifications to get updates on the videos I do each and every day, as well as having access to one of the largest catalogs a vehicle and sports car walk arounds on YouTube. In fact, in a second, you'll see a link to subscribe to my YouTube channel in the upper left, a link to all the GT500 cars I've done in the upper right, a link to this vehicle in our website in our lower left, and a link to this vehicle, uh, to one of our latest YouTube videos in the lower right. Click those, check us out. We're super excited to help you with this ultra clean 2013 Ford Mustang Shelby GT500 in black with the Colorado red racing stripes. Thanks again for checking out the video. Remember to like, subscribe, and share on the YouTube channel. I really appreciate it. Thanks again.